Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Short with H-Wave, and we're often asked the question, what's the difference between TENS and an H-Wave? I can just go down to 7-Eleven or my local Walgreens and pick up a TENS unit. What's that about, and is that the same method of action? The way to think about TENS is that TENS stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, which means the same way that you might sort of interrupt a pain feeling by rubbing on the skin, it ends up creating a very superficial moment of confusion for the body. And when I mean confusion, I mean my brain is perceiving that there's something happening and it may be limiting simultaneously some of the pain signaling I'm getting. So I can get some real immediate, potentially some relief in the system. The same way I would have if I rubbed the skin or, or added something to sort of temporarily make it so I couldn't hear that pain signal. The problem with TENS is that it's very superficial, doesn't necessarily improve blood flow, certainly doesn't move tissues around, and as soon as I turn it off, boo, I, I'm kind of left back with that same pain response. So what ends up happening is that people are feeling some relief, but it hasn't changed any of the underlying physiology that's going to allow me to stand up and move or regain function or return to play or my activities of daily living or even my role in my family. When we use H-Wave, which is a fundamentally different use of this technology, we're either doing two things. One is that we're gonna get some on-demand pain relief with a high frequency, which actually works on a level that can actually fatigue out the sodium ion channels and give ourselves some on-demand pain relief, but also some lasting pain relief that can last two or three or four hours after a treatment. Which means that not only do I can have some control, but that control of my pain can happen and drift onwards for many hours after my session. That's very different than this very superficial, very cheap thing that you can just buy on Amazon that are sort of throwaway. The second thing that happens is that using low frequency on the H-Wave allows me to create a non-fatiguing muscle contraction that I almost can use indefinitely, which means that I can take out the garbage, bring in the groceries, dump my lymphatic system, bring blood flow to the area, get a ton of movement in the system without actually having to exercise and volitionally stand up and move. And that, again, is a wholesale difference than just feeling this sort of superficial buzz that maybe interrupts my brain from perceiving what's happening at a very su superficial level. So while, yes, they both use energy, they both also have radically different mechanisms of action and radically different results. So TENS, which you probably experienced back in the 80s, was a very low level expression of the high potential of using energy to facilitate return to function in the human body.